So I've come into this splendid, but I must say slightly chilly marquee, and I've come across Comrum. Now I've been to a few Milwaukee events in yeah, the past, also, yeah. and I've seen you yep. quite a lot, Fair and bit. you always seem to be on hammers, which suggests to me that you did something very bad in your last life. Yeah, apparently. This is, so hard this is, this is the punishment room, as you can sell from the cold. Yeah, so tell me what you, what, I mean, obviously you get, you've got hammer demonstrations, but you well, want to talk... we've just demonstrated basically how our cordless M18 CHPX outperforms any other cordless tool or even AC tools equivalent in the same space at a three kilo SDS plus. After demonstrating that, we go on to emphasize the importance of productivity in comparison to vibration, not just vibration as a value on its own. Hang on a minute. So vibration, as we all know, is one of those things that the HSE have been pushing hard, pushing very hard for a number and, and of And vibration years. is important, yeah, but the yeah. question is, vibration gives you a period of time that you can use a tool for. What can I actually achieve in that period of time is what the end user should really be asking themselves. So as a prime example... So we, we, so we forget ours and we look at holes drilled, yeah? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, here you have the UK's HAV, Harmand, vibration exposure calculation. So ELV is exposure limit value. So if you're in the green, you're not exposed to any what's considered dangerous levels of vibration. The yellow is you are exposed, but yeah. it's not considered hazardous to your health. Once you get to the red, yeah. That's when you're supposed to switch. As you can see, it's a progressive curve. So the higher the vibration, it's not a factor of 10 to 5 would be half the time. Okay, yeah. It's actually a factor into there because of the steep curve. Yeah, yeah. So what we show is, for example, the lowest cordless SDS plus tool from vibration is the DeWalt. Okay. It produces 6.8 meters per second. So if we put the DeWalt down at 6.8 and we follow it across, by the time you get to the red, you actually get to four hours. So that tool can be used for four hours a day before dangerous uh, limits of vibration are, are hit. Okay. At our M18 CHPX, which we've just outperformed the competition with, comes in at 8.1. So when you move it across, you actually come into around about three and a half hours. So you have 30 minutes a day that you can use that tool less for compared to the DeWalt unit. Okay. So in theory, you'd think, oh, you would think 30 minutes less. Okay, that's 30 yeah. minutes less work that I can perform. If we were to take a closer look at the drill rate, and here we have three different sizes, 10, 12, and 14 millimeter, and here we have how much they drill per minute in millimeters. Yeah. So the DeWalt on a 12 millimeter drills 298 millimeters a minute. You can see our M18 CHPX is 644. So in one minute, I'm already getting over double the amount of material drilled, okay? To keep the maths easy, we don't expect the end user to go 300 times 60 times 4. Yeah, so we sure. just go 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. Right. Okay? Yeah. Now, if we use the same logic and we down, round ours down to 6, and we said 3.5 hours, 6 times 3.5 is 21. So what DeWalt manages in 4 hours is 12. We manage in 3.5 hours at 21. Okay. So you've got 75% more material yeah. drilled in 30 minutes less time. And the overall effect of vibration is the same? The overall basically. effect of vibration is the same. He's had the same limit exposure to vibration, just in half an hour less time. Yeah. However, he's done 75% more yeah. material so, work in that period of time. So it's working faster. So what, what are you saying then? That, that, that people have got this vibration issue wrong or what? They've got, no, the they've vibration come, is come important, the but it's not just looking at vibration as a value of 10 against 5, because yeah. it's very easy for us to go and develop a yeah. tool with one metre per second vibration. Yeah. You could use it for three weeks continuously, yeah. but it will take you yeah. three hours to drill a hole. Do you think there's inevitable an inevitable trade-off between vibration and productivity? In other words, w would you say every time you reduce vibration, you, you reduce performance. Yes, to because I mean they are completely polar opposites. Yeah. You think about it. The harder I want to hit, yeah. the more movement there is, the more mass that is moving, the more vibration you're potentially now, going to cause. One thing I do know. I mean, I've seen, been around sites for years and years, and a lot of guys when they use an SDS tool don't really understand. Even experienced tradesmen don't always understand what they're trying to achieve with an SDS tool because you see so many of them drilling into concrete pushing that thing exactly. as hard as they exactly. can. Exactly. Um, what you would find, SDS Plus, um, if we're completely honest, invented by Bosch back in the, yeah. the 80s. And if we take a drill bit out to demo, it's not like a percussion drill that a lot of the, the tradesmen that have been on site for a long time will know. And there you do have to push to produce sure, power. Yeah. SDS Plus 
needs to be able to move. It's all about that movement on the exactly. shaft. Yeah. Now, you don't want to be paying too little pressure because otherwise the tool will be bouncing up. Okay, right. And you don't yeah. want to be blind too much and the drill bit bending because then yeah. this can't actually physically move. And also by putting so much pressure on, you're actually negating the, the whole hammer action. So, if you exactly. Like, yeah. So you do yeah. need to apply pressure, but it's finding that sweet spot where the drill bit can still move, yeah. still hit with the energy that low energy you've yeah. provided. Yeah. But not trying to push it too hard to push for it. You've gone and spent the money for the drill. Let the drill do the work. Don't try and push it through the material yeah, yeah. yourself. And I've noticed the, the vibration damping that you've got on this drill is mostly on the back handle, isn't it? There's, yes. there's not much on. Oh, there's a bit on that side. So there is a bit on the side, oh, but okay. I mean, we have the uh, double AVS system here. And if yeah. you look at some of the closer competition, they have, if at all, one, yeah, not double. At the top and Now, bending on the vibration bottom, is always measured triaxle, so the X, yeah. Y, and Z axis. And we always, as manufacturers, have to state the highest value. Yeah. Okay. So your worst case scenario. Exactly. Yeah. Now, because this is the hardest hitting hammer within its category with 4.1 joules of blow energy, we had to develop a double AVS handle system to be able to get near our target of eight meters per second. Okay, yeah. If we wanted to go for a target of five meters per second, we could have done so, but we would have had to reduce the dual blow energy by about down to about 2.8, which would obviously would have reduced the performance. So you've got a really powerful machine, yep. which works really hard, produces a little bit more vibration, but you're saying you're doing the job in less time. Exactly. So you get home earlier, and you've got time no spare. no more exposure vibration. to vibration okay. limit right. that's okay. exactly what this curve calculates that's brilliant okay thanks i think i understood all that the maths left me a little bit but it was never my strong point <laughs> no problem thanks a lot Con. thank you